What's up everyone, it's Matty from Logic FX and in today's video I'm just going to be covering something really quick around our tech um, because we've got a few questions around, you know, what do the circles mean, what do the arrows mean, how can we actually use the technology here at Logic FX and uh, more specifically the things like the macro currency strength meter, the opportunity rankings on our dashboard and also our summary pages. So firstly, where do we even find the tech? Well, it's really simple but if you haven't done it before it can be quite tricky it's just to go to the portal in the top right. Most people I'm guessing will click technology. Go ahead, if you've made an account, go ahead and create a free account. Go ahead and go to the portal. Now only the tech subscribers will have access to the value optimization um, technology that we have at LogicFX. And if you are a subscriber and you're a recently new subscriber, this is where you'll find all the cool stuff to aid your trading. Now, firstly, we'll cover the technology summary dashboard. So let's go ahead and open up that and see what's inside. So in the actual summary dashboard, we have a few things. So at the top, we have a drop down, which is the top 10 opportunity rankings of this week. Now, every Saturday around 9 a.m. British summertime, so 9 a.m. GMT or the UK time, will have updated the technology here at Logic Effects, and that gathers all the economic reports, things like the COT as well, um, anything to do with economics, we kind of gather it all and we try to summarize that in this dashboard. Now in the top 10 Forex opportunity rankings, we will kind of do all the stuff in the background and give you four key variables that you need to watch out for. And that's being one, the macro scores, which is the currency strength meter, the interest rate differentials, the GDP differentials and the COTA differentials as well. Now COT being the hedge fund positions. And then on the left hand side, we'll have the currency pairs, which are mostly affected. Now the top 10 rankings are from top to bottom, kind of like best to worst, you could say. Um, but overall, you can see that within the actual um, variables, there are different arrows, there are different circles, and this can be a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and cover it. Well, firstly, we have the kind of gray circles right and then we have this little red circle behind it what does that mean well the gray circle means um simply that we're at a neutral kind of outlook you know we're not bullish we're not bearish on the currency strength meter we're neutral but the changes that are happening in the backgrounds from last week to this week are suggesting a potentially bearish outlook is coming that's from the little red circle here now we go ahead and go towards a red red circle and a down arrow. This means that this indicator or this variable is bearish. So in this case, for USDMXN, the interest rate differentials are signaling a potential bearish outlook on that currency pair. This is the same for GDP differentials and also the COTA differentials too. And then on the flip side, we have the green up arrows. The green up arrows signify a potential bullish move and that the current data is signaling bullish movements. And then a smaller blue uh, green um, arrow in the back, as you can see there where my pointer is, that would signal a potential change that is becoming bullish. So if it's green arrow, if there's a big green arrow like this, and there's a little green arrow behind it, what it's saying is that currently, yeah, the economic data is bullish, but also the economic data that's coming out right now is also bullish. And what this can do is give you a bit more confidence in that trend of potentially bulls coming in. On the flip side, we could have two red arrows. This would be bearish. Now, in this case, we have a gray arrow, um, a gray circle, but a green arrow in the background. This actually potentially means, right, yeah, right now we're neutral, but in the future we could be bullish. So it's just something to account for. And that's kind of how the red circles, the green circles and the gray circles are kind of um, ranked. Now, if we go out of the opportunity ranking, so the top 10, we can then go into the actual details. So in this case, this week, for example, GBP card, USDMXN all look like potential ideas, right? So let's go ahead and go into GBP card. So we go and select the base currency and then the quote currency. So GBP and then CAD. And that will populate the rest of the dashboard for you to give you an all-inclusive outlook of what's going on for GBP CAD. And in this case, we have the macro score, so the currency strength meter. And what it's saying this week is that over the past month or two, GBP has kind of maintained a really strong positive score. And this is 
most likely due to the kind of economic recovery that's going on in the UK. On the flip side, we have the Canadian dollar, which has, it had maintained a really strong score. And then within the last week or so, the last two weeks, the downtrend has started to come in economic data. And it's suggesting a potentially bearish outlook is coming for Canada. Now, get putting these two and two together, we can say, right, well, maybe we should be long GBP CAD, or maybe we should be bullish GBP CAD, with all excluding all other factors, right? And then we can actually move on to all the different technology we have, we have here at Logic FX. So we have the GDP differentials. What does that say? Well, that's also suggesting that in 2022, the forecast by the IMF is saying that GBP will grow stronger than the CAD, or sorry, the UK will grow stronger than Canada from an economic output point of view. Interest rate differentials. Uh, this time round, we actually have a negative outlook. So we can see that there's a red arrow down here. And that means that because GBP or UK's interest rates are so low in comparison to Canada, that investors probably want to hold their investments in Canadian dollar because they'll earn more interest on that. So that's one out of four factors saying that, right, this is actually bearish. But three out of four are saying potentially bullish. That gives us a bias then on a fundamental level to be long GBP card in the future. COTAs as well, very similar. This time round, we have the hedge fund positions. If the base currency, so the, the deep blue line here, is above this zero line, that means the net hedge fund open interest is actually long. So the more hedge funds are longing the UK uh, sterling, the pound. And if it's below zero, that means they're shorting it. So that's why it's green, because actually right now, um, the hedge funds are longing the pound, but also the kind of neutral on the Canadian dollar. So we don't have a definitive idea then if um, the kind of we're trading with or against the markets. So that's kind of a really high level view of what the kind of summary page is. We can then actually go into a bit more of a deeper outlook on the Forex opportunity rankings I mentioned earlier. earlier. And this gives us a really long list of currencies which we could potentially take a look at. And then from that, we can then go ahead and open up the macro currency strength meter. And then we can go in and select the base currency of what currency pair we want to analyze, the quote currency. And we can use these cards down here to flick through what potentially might be good ideas to this week. Then we have also the same GDP differential, select the base currency, select the quote currency to see right what kind of nitpicky things can we say historically, but also in the future forecast by the IMF and a very similar concept for the interest rate differentials too. And that's kind of an overall view of how you would use the technology here at LogicFX. Do feel free to use the forum. So we do have a forum right now where you can ask loads of questions. We, are, we already have a lot of people doing this, um, but I thought I'd make this video for you all here at LogicFX. Thank you for watching. It's Matty from LogicFX.